In this video, I will explain the basics of sexual and asexual reproduction using two of the sexiest waifus in anime, Asuka and Rei. In the original TV series, Asuka is an organism produced by sexual reproduction because she has a mom and a dad, and Rei is an organism produced by asexual reproduction because she's a clone. Having two parents is a defining feature of sexual reproduction, and having only one parent is a defining feature of asexual reproduction. But the similarities don't end here. I feel like the character arcs and personalities of these two waifus also mirror the characteristics of sexual and asexual reproduction. For example, Asuka involves the fusion of two polar opposites, Tsun and Dere, to form the ultimate life form known as a Tsundere. <laughs> sexual reproduction also involves the fusion of two polar opposites. A male and female gamete, such as a sperm and an egg, fuse to form the ultimate life form that is currently watching this video. Because sexual reproduction involves the fusion of two things that are completely different, we end up with something unique. And this uniqueness is a defining feature of both Asuka and other organisms produced by sexual reproduction. Being unique, however, is not a defining feature of Rei or other organisms produced by asexual reproduction. Rei, like I mentioned earlier, is a clone. She is genetically identical to all the other Reis located deep down in nerve headquarters. Likewise, organisms produced by asexual reproduction are genetically identical to their parent, genetically identical to their siblings, and genetically identical to their future offspring. This lack of genetic diversity may seem bleak, and a little creepy too, but there is one major advantage to producing offspring through asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction is simple and allows for mass production, and this means that Rei can multiply quickly and even colonize places like your heart if you are not careful. The lack of genetic diversity, however, means that all organisms produced by asexual reproduction can be easily wiped out at the flip of a switch, or when conditions get rough. Because organisms produced by asexual reproduction are all the same, they all have the same set of weaknesses. And once these organisms are exposed to what they're weak to, they're all going to die. Being able to survive in a turbulent environment is more of sexual reproduction strong suit. Yeah. Asuka and all organisms produced by sexual reproduction have their own unique set of weaknesses and strengths. The characteristics that make my goddess strong, her grit, her willingness to throw hands, her determination to prove that she's the best, these features gave her a survival advantage in the harsh environment of Tokyo 3. However, the characteristics that make Asuka weak, her PTSD, her insecurities, her mommy issues, these features gave her a survival disadvantage in the final few episodes of the anime. Likewise, a population produced by sexual reproduction is always going to have some individuals with a survival advantage due to their unique strengths, and some individuals with a survival disadvantage due to their unique weaknesses. But no matter how much the environment changes, there are always going to be some members that survive. And this is the biggest advantage of sexual reproduction. The main disadvantage of sexual reproduction is that it, like Asuka, is super high maintenance. Just like how it takes a lot of time and effort to get cozy with a tsundere, it takes a lot of time and effort to raise a child because there's no blueprint for raising someone who never existed before. On the flip side, however, it doesn't take any time or effort to keep Rei around, and that's another advantage of asexual reproduction. It's very low maintenance. But is low maintenance really what you're looking for in a waifu? What do you really want in life? Would you like sexual reproduction with Asuka? Or do you want Rei just standing nonchalantly next to you as she multiplies asexually by herself like a starfish? Asuka best girl. 